Hey guys, Mr. Frags here with the Gears of War 2 insane difficulty walkthrough. This is the second part of Rude Awakening in Act 3. Now once we're past the sires, we're actually working our way back outside. Man, glad that's over with. Let's get the hell out of here. This was not a fun chapter for me at all. I don't know why. Yeah, well shit's going down here too. I got all the collectibles for you guys in this chapter. It's just I really did not like it. Way too much of a pain in the ass. If you're, try if you're trying to record this straight through without dying, you got a lot of work ahead of you. This part of the checkpoint saving actually made me like skip. It, like threw me back like a step. I don't know, Dom. You wanna ask him? No, that wasn't a poor editing job that time. That was the actual game screwing up. Scratch one grub. Nice. So you just want to make sure you take out your shotgun get the flamethrower guys first because sometimes they'll blow up other people and when there's one more guy just run up to him and shot at him and now you're gonna have another few people come out here a flamethrower guy and you don't want to be near the flamethrower guys when they blow up because they will chase you around I think it's hilarious when they blow up and they're running around like an idiot. And the easiest way to do this is to take a left and then just run right by into this room right here and turn on the security system on the locusts that are attacking you. See now it's just unloading on them. If you, turn, if you go right and you don't go left first, you'll have a security system firing at you. So it's not a path you want to take. So once you set this guy on fire, you want to run away because he will pop that desk or run around it. I'm surprised they didn't throw any collectibles in here in the actual building itself. The two that are in this chapter are all outside. This is just repetitive until you get outside, really. Once you get in here, you, you're almost outside, actually. You just want to take cover behind these desks, and you don't got to shoot at those guys at all. They will die on their own, and you will see how. Just whatever you do, do not run it into the middle. Do not run past these desks that you're covering behind right now. And there you go. Your first look at Razor Hail. Okay, guess it's not always so bad. And our first collectible of the levels coming up. All you gotta do is run right in here. And it is on the floor over there. I already picked it up. But that's exactly where it is. It's very hard to miss I would say if you go in that house and you don't find it either you picked it up already or you're an idiot 
So there's one guy on the train. So we just want to take care of him. So we want to get on the train and go activate it or pull the lever, whatever you want to. You want to get behind the high cover and just duck and you be all set for this train ride. Here's locust holes popping up everywhere. And then this way, I found you can just completely avoid them. The shooting these guys would just be a waste of ammo. You do not see them at all after this. And Dom thinks he's hot shit trying to take everybody out himself. Get a frag in there. It takes a lot to kill the NPCs in this game. Or non-playable characters if you don't know what that means. Basically the computer who's controlling your teammates. If you want to try to dive out here, and then take cover as fast as you can behind this. And sometimes they will rush you, so... And if you can see, that guy's actually just pretty much killed himself because he ran into Razor Fail. And several of them do that. This guy's trying to be hot shit himself and trying to run up to me and chainsaw me. You'll notice a few of them jump over that blockade right there that he just jumped over. It kills him instantly, so I don't see how they programmed him to kill themselves. And good job, Epic Games. Good job. So I pick up a sniper here. Once you get in here, there's actually a couple guys further away from you that the sniper actually does good for. Maybe we can open up these doors for shelter. Grubs are tough. Grubs are not tough, Marcus. Come on. Me and Brent, the ones who run our site, 360extreme.com, called. We made up that every time you uh, blow their head off with a sniper or a pistol, you gotta call it noggin popping. Mostly he made that up. Head over to our site, sign up on the forums. You can find our guides there. The 360extreme.com, the actual number 360, not typing it out. So before you run out here, you want to take everybody you can see out because you actually got to roll up another wheel that's outside and you do not want these guys shooting at you while you're doing it. Oh, I got a little cheap there. I'll apologize for that one. You just want to turn this, you're protected from the razor hail. We actually got our next collectible coming up. It's when you get to the second train that moves, which would be this one. Instead of going in the train, just take a right. You run down this path, and you just roll in here. And it's right on the wall that I'm going to aim at and second that wall. It's like. It's hard to see, so you gotta run up to it. It's like graffiti on the wall. So that one, I can... I won't blame you if you miss it. 